Hey guys, thank you so much for being here today. So, highly requested, I am going to be doing a psychic reading on Megan Thee Stallion. So, there's some controversy going on about Tory Lanez shooting her. I might have had the story completely messed up. If I do, comment below. But this is going to be a general reading of her. Maybe in the future I can make a reader on that. But I feel like that case has already been like, you know, just, you know, that case is already disclosed and the information's all there, so. But if you guys want me to do another reading on that, just comment below um, or like the comment that somebody says to do a reading on that. Um, but for today, we're just going to be doing a reading on Megan Thee Stallion. Uh, and yeah. So she is an up and coming. Ooh, Okay. I'm hearing Oya. Okay, so I'm going to assume that this woman, Oya. What does Oya look like? This is an Orisha. I feel like Oya is with her. That, that word Oya is coming out. So I'm not sure if she works with the Orishas. But I think Oya does want to work with her. However, there is another woman that's coming out. This woman is dancing. She's a bit thicker. She's voluptuous. Um... She's a little bit on the heavier side. She's showing me all shades of blue. Um, and she has this like scarf looking thing that she like, I don't know, she's dancing and she holds it behind her. It, dark blue, uh, the color is significant for something. Uh, moonlight, dancing, I'm not sure. But you guys know who I'm talking about, comment below. Anyway, let's get into her reading. Okay, so I am seeing a severe lack of feelings, like not like lack of happy feelings. She's very, she's in a very emotional space right now. I feel like she has lost somebody. Um, I'm hearing why, why me next, God, uh, or what's next, God. I feel like she's kind of just waiting for what's going to happen next to her because I feel like there's a bad luck streak or there's just a series of events that have not been going in her, fa in her favor. Even though she has a lot of success, I'm, I know that song that she put out last gave her a lot of success, the one with Cardi B. So um, she's very down about stuff. I, I feel like this has to do with her emotional state because they are showing me a lot of water. They're showing me waterfalls and they are showing me the nighttime. Um, this Aisha, I feel like she ha has to do something about sadness. Um, there's something about sadness here, despair. I feel like that's why this Aisha at this time wants to work with her. I also am getting some Egyptian goddesses that have been with her. I feel like she's more so close to the Egyptian goddesses, uh, but the Aishas do look after her as well. She does uh, her, her glamour. There's something connected to her glamour and... Um, the Egyptian goddesses kind of having an influence over that. She may not knowingly work with these goddesses, but they see her and they try and push her in the right direction. This is a lot about beauty. This is a lot about glamour. Uh, I do feel like a lot of her style is given to her from these people, from these goddesses. She does not feel like she is in the body that she is in for some reason. There is a disconnect between herself and her body. She doesn't feel like she's... The way she feels about herself is not representative of what she really looks like. I feel like, and I've seen this before, and it actually ended up being a very negative thing. I don't feel like it's a negative thing from her. I feel like she's a good person. She doesn't have any you know, funky stuff going on there. Um, but I do feel like she she kind of feels like they're they're giving me like a mythological creature. Uh, what what is the thing in like um when it was a Wizard of Oz? What was the other thing? Okay, I forgot the name of this movie. But like a dwarf, she feels like she looks like a dwarf, but really she's a very attractive looking woman. She doesn't really see this in herself. 
she may have some jinxes like that are on her or um she may have been kind of like not re like really not attractive like as a child or as a teenager um but she still does not feel like she's this attractive woman she still holds on to the way she looked and the way she perceived herself back then so like you know what i mean when uh you may have been like fat in high school or you had acne or something and those like that mind that conditioning in your mind carries on with you after even if the acne's gone and you lost the weight you still feel like okay fuck like this is still going on here that's what i'm getting from her there's a lot of masculine energy and she's very like ashamed of this masculine energy that she has she's very much a go-getter she goes after what she wants but I feel like there there is some shame in that. Uh, I don't feel like this person has depression. I feel like she's going through a dark night of the soul right now. There's a lot of sadness and grief around her. The Orishas are working with her. I feel like they are trying to help her heal. Healing is very much needed for her right now. I feel like this is a time we may say her take a, a step back. I feel like she may have had songs recorded. There may be an album coming out for her. I'm not sure, guys. I don't really follow her that, that well. But she may have an album coming up. And, like, she may pull a Nicki where, like, she doesn't do another album for a long time after. She's going to take a couple, of two to three years, I feel like, to recover from everything that's been going on in her life. There is things that she is not telling people. But I feel like... She feels like she has a streak of bad luck and being in the Hollywood environment, being in the spotlight is making things very, like, it's making things worse for her. She does have people around her that are pushing her to stride forward and she feels like her mental health isn't really, you know, acknowledged by these people. So she's not really trusting these people, but she trusts that they have her image in mind, that they have her best, uh, best intention, best intention? She trusts that they have good intentions for her business and her brand and herself and her career. But for herself as a person, she just, she's lost the trust in these people because they were not understanding of what she was going through. Okay, what else? She's the type of person to pop, to, to pop off, I feel like, on people. She, she gets aggravated quickly. She knows there's there must have been because I'm seeing like an ancestor here. She must have had like a, a grandmother, great grandmother. This feels like a great grandmother for some reason that she kind of like channels through her when people go when people when people come at her from a different angle. I feel like she's a very sweet person, but I feel like this ancestor kind of goes in her and like ticks her off and to the point where she I don't want to necessarily say blacks out but she kind of just has this breakdown and in a very aggressive way and she will go crazy on people that are not doing the right thing by her side um but this isn't her this this is something coming out of her this is like I like I said this is an ancestor um but I don't feel like she's an aggressive person. She has some cancer energy, sun, moon, rising. Um, what is in store for her future? So right now she is very on and popping. Uh, things are happening for her. I do feel like this is gonna persist. I feel like I'm seeing her as an elder kind of helping woman um, kind of like what Lil' Kim does now, like she helps other artists that are coming up. I do feel like she will be doing that. She is going to have her place in the music industry for a while. I'm not seeing that she's just going to like die out that quickly. But she is going to focus on helping other artists in, in her future when she's a little bit older. I feel like at age 50, that's what she's really going to push towards, helping those people. But right now, there's a lot of things that are going on in her life. They're showing me, like, lights coming from every direction. So I think her love life is, like, 
very exciting and that doesn't really mean it's excited in a good way like things are just happening very very quickly she's going through lessons very very quickly and that's also a reason she feels very overwhelmed and I feel kind of saddened and in despair about everything because the love life has its own drama the fame has its own drama a lot of these things are interconnected as well so she does feel very overwhelmed with everything going on however I do feel like she is going to learn how to take care of her finances a little bit better because I do feel like she might have been like a person that spends money easily but now she's gonna be like all right like I need to save up for the future and put things in different accounts and really think about this I do feel like she is gonna come out with some type of why are you showing lunchware okay this is so weird but my guys are showing me freaking lunch boxes I don't know what this means um, maybe she's gonna have her, maybe she's gonna partner up with some company, like, you know how Aisha Curry did that thing with the uh, mugs? I feel like she may do something like that, she may just be into cooking, she may do a cookbook, I don't know why they're showing me lunch boxes. that's so weird, but they are saying that she is gonna come out with a collaboration with somebody and um this could be makeup but i feel like it's gonna be more than just makeup i feel like for her it's gonna be like something with cooking or it has to do with tea or something like that uh but i do feel like this is gonna be a collaboration this isn't gonna be her own brand you know what i mean and this is coming this is already in the works i'm hearing either uh a business has already come forward to her and asked her, hey, do you want to do this like home accessory line or something? Or this is going to be something that may take a while to take off. But it is going to be something to do with like something you would see at like Macy's or something. But anyways, thank you guys so much. If you guys want your own reading, I put everything below. Email me and my website is up. Let me know what you think. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye.